Well, hello there, my dear students. Um, I'm very happy to uh, be here with you again um, for this new week of our online sessions. Okay, and uh, for this week in particular, we have a very, very um, easy, relaxed topic uh, that we're going to talk about, and that is how to express things uh, in the future with um, will. Okay, so uh, let's talk about uh, some of the characteristics of this uh, tense. Okay, so to express something in the future, we use will plus the basic form of the main verb. It's very easy. Okay, so let us uh, write here some examples. Okay, right there. So um, let's think about how we will have something in present. Okay, as in uh, he like no, he um, loves um, Chicago. Okay, he loves Chicago. That's in present uh, with the S and everything, right? Um, and that's gonna go um, in future as he will love Chicago. Okay, see, this is very important how uh, love comes back to the basic form. Okay, we have another option here. Okay, that is um, with the contraction, right? Um, but um, we can talk about it with a second item. So, Will's contracted form is L. Okay, I know that pronunciation is a little hard, okay, but it's just an L, okay? Uh, okay? Uh. So, um, okay, so this form is more commonly used in spoken English. That's very important because you're going to hear it everywhere, okay? So, if I want to do this one with the contraction, it would go uh, hill, okay? Try, try to feel your tongue back here with your teeth. Trata de sentir la lengua como, como pega casi contra lo, las, las muelas, digamos. No, no contra los dientes del frente, sino contra las muelas. Entonces llegó heel, ok. Heel, um, he'll love Chicago. Ok. He'll love Chicago. That's pretty much it. Ok. Now, uh, for the negative form of will, we have that um, it's will not, okay, that's the full form, but um, we are going to use its contracted form won't, okay, won't more um, in every, uh, every in daily conversation, okay? So, with the same example, we're going to say he won't love Chicago. Okay? Good. Como les he dicho, muy fácil este tema para esta semana es el futuro con Will. Es el futuro simple que se hace en español. Eh, amaré, amarás, amará. ¿Cierto? Esa conjugación que tenemos en español. En inglés es mucho más fácil. ¿Cierto? Solo coloco will con todos los pronombres y el verbo en la forma básica. ¿Listo? Entonces lo que les decía de la contracción, pilas a esa pronunciación, he'll, ok, he'll y won't. Ok, good. Now we're going to start with uh, will, uh, using will for predictions. Ok. Will for prediction. So let's read some examples. Okay. Um, Fred is going to buy another cell phone. He'll lose it. Listen. He'll lose it. Just like the other two. 
Number two, with the quarantine, it won't be a good year for the economy. This show is in Italian. I know, we won't understand a word. Okay, good. And it's a great book. I'm sure you'll like it. Okay, good. So as you can see, these four examples have a prediction. Okay, tenemos cuatro ejemplos, entonces tenemos una predicción, ¿cierto? Eh, Fred va a comprar otro teléfono. Lo perderá o lo va a perder, tal como pasó con los otros dos. Con la cuarentena, no será, no será un buen año para la economía. Este, este programa, este show es en italiano. Ya sé, no vamos a entender una palabra. We won't understand a word. And, uh, es un gran libro, estoy seguro que te gustará. Ok? Muy sencillo. So, the uses um, for the prediction, ok? We use uh, will. Uh, with will we can express prediction based on our opinions and um, I'm sorry that's not predictions that's uh, uh, perspe per perspective perspectives there we go perspectives let me put it here okay and perspectives good I'm sorry uh, we talk about things that we consider, that we guess, or that we think about in the future. Okay, hablamos de cosas que consideramos, eh, que adivinamos o que pensamos que van a pasar en el futuro. Okay. Again, so uh, Will's contracted uh, form is uh, L, and uh, we use it for spoken English, and the negative form is will not but it its contracted form is won't okay so now let's talk about the structure okay and normally we will always have the subject siempre vamos a tener el sujeto al principio then will then the basic form of the verb and the complement okay sujeto will el verbo en la forma básica y el resto de la oración so, in affirmative, I'm going to say, listen, I'll call you, okay? I'll call you. Can you, can you tell the difference, though? Like, if I say, I call you, I call you, y cuando digo, I'll call you, I'll call you, okay? Again, it's different, right? He, he'll be there, right? I would say he'll be there, okay? Different from he be. Okay, listen to the difference. He be, and in future, he'll be, he'll be, okay? And we'll see you tomorrow. We'll see you tomorrow, okay? We'll see you tomorrow. Good. It goes the same for the negative forms, but just with won't, right? I won't call you. Um, she'll, she won't be there. She won't be there. Uh, they won't see you tomorrow. Some mistakes here, I'm sorry. Um, there. We won't, uh, sorry, they won't see you tomorrow. Okay, good. And now, as for the questions, we change uh, the places and we have will at the beginning and then the subject and then the base form of the verb and the complement, okay? So, will she call you? Will she call you? Yes, she will or no, she won't, okay? Those are the short answers, okay? Um... So remember also that uh, we can use be going to to express predictions, okay? But um, those are a little more objective, okay? Um, predictions with will are a little more like personal, like subjective, okay? A good example of the difference is with the weather, okay? 
So for example, I see a gray clouds in the sky. It's going to rain later, okay? Because that's a physical thing that I see. Es una es un aspecto físico que veo, sí, que es de cierta forma tangible, digamos, sí, es un poco más objetivo por las evidencias que tenemos. Por eso vamos a utilizar going to, okay? Eh, it's going to rain later, okay? Good. And then, um, with will, we have something different, like, um, I know you, and I uh, know you love, um, let's say, the Blues Brothers. Okay. Um, te conozco y sé que te va a encantar eh, The Blues Brothers o Los Hermanos Caradura, una película un poco vieja, um, pero es porque es mi percepción y viene desde adentro, ¿sí? es un poco más personal, más subjetiva. Esa sería como la diferencia, pero no es una diferencia exorbitante, ¿no? es solo para que lo tengan en cuenta. ¿Ok? Um, okay, so good. Um, now, uh, please proceed with the rest of the lesson, okay? And I'll see you in the next video, okay? Bye.